The Joy shuttle car is basically one of the most reliable shuttle cars in the coal industry. They're good machines. They're good. I mean, they, they get abused. They, they get beat. And, uh, I have good experience with them. A machine that is really durable and reliable to keep the industry to survive back in the 70s and 80s. I started in the coal mines. I, want, I always wanted to be a coal truck driver. So this is about as close as I'm going to get. So I think Joy did a lot of innovations to make mining better, from my, my experience with it. And, uh, you know, they're the only ones that really uh, had service. You know, if you could, nobody could fix it, you called a Joy rep, he'd come. Yeah, <laughs> nobody else comes. And you just drive up to it, you get the load, pull your, pull your boom up, run the conveyor, and in three seconds, four seconds, you're back to the miner getting another load of coal. Very efficient. It made me a rich man, I can tell you that. <laughs> Those cars made me a lot of money. As reliability, we hardly ever have any problems with a shuttle car. If you care for something, it'll run. These things are still running, you know, and uh, I have four of them yet. <laughs> so, I mean, they're still running. I really enjoy working with Joy Mining Equipment. They've done a lot for mining. The shuttle car is the most commonly used batch haulage system in mining today. I think it was 16 because my dad said you can drive a car so you can drive a shuttle car. With over 2,000 still in operation and over 17,100 built, and I used to laugh, I used to call him, you're not a coal miner, you're a truck driver. While Komatsu is widely known as the leading manufacturer of underground mining equipment, only two machines can be directly linked to its founder, Joe Joy. In 1919, Joy introduced the first mechanical loading system that revolutionized mining and the slow backbreaking task of hand loading coal became a thing of the past. In spite of technological advances, such as the loader, movement of the coal from the face was still tied to rail-mounted vehicles. Rail-mounted haulage was labor-intensive and limited the production of the loading machines while rails were being laid to keep up with mine advancement. In 1937, Joy's Arthur Noisen and John Russell introduced a radically new haulage concept to the underground mining industry, given the trade name Shuttle Car. This new vehicle became the first truly successful rubber-tired hauler for the underground mining industry. Powered by way of a battery located at the loading end of the car, with the two loading end wheels driven by two separate traction motors, and the discharge end wheels activated by a steering wheel. Like all Komatsu products, innovation doesn't stop at introduction. Joy quickly introduced significant improvements to the shuttle car. Machines quickly adapted to the production and operating environments of the mines. Used in both coal and non-coal applications throughout the world, the most popular shuttle car ever produced, the 10SC, was introduced in 1948. Since its introduction over 30 years ago, over 6,300 10SC shuttle cars have been built and distributed globally. We would console a Pittsburgh Coal Company. We use 6SCs and 10SCs. They are a very viable machine. And on the 10 SCs, we'd actually make the sideboards a little bit higher. Instead of hauling 10 tons, we was hauling about 16 to 20 tons. And they were a lot of fun. My experience with the Joy Shuttle Car, I ran the 10 SC. It's similar to this one, but a lot bigger. We hardly ever have any problems with the Shuttle Car. When the 5,000th Joy 10SC shuttle car was delivered to Massey Energy's Sydney Coal Company in March of 1995, it symbolized what the coal industry had known for years. This shuttle car model was the most popular, most productive, most reliable, and most dominating. During the post-World War II economic boom, low seam mines in the United States struggled to keep up with the demand for their high-quality, low-sulfur coal. Joy addressed the problem and in 1958 introduced the 18SC, a six-wheeled vertically articulating shuttle car. By using six smaller tires and allowing the machine to flex vertically in the middle, the car could follow the rolls and undulations in mines as low as 32 inches, without roofing or bottoming out. Over the next 30 years, nearly 1,200 of these specialty cars were built for both low coal and potash applications. In 1969, Joy introduced one of the most popular shuttle cars the coal mining industry has ever seen. Designated the 21SC, 
This shuttle car is still in production, with over 3,550 of these cars being produced for the United States market alone, making it second only to the 10SC series in customer demand. You get a lot of coal, you get a 21SC, you're going to lay on your back and you're just going to follow that sight line. And if you know where you're going, the red sight line is going to tell you right where to go. And that's like sleeping all day long, running the, sh running the truck. In 1971, Komatsu delivered the 10,000th shuttle car to Mid-Continent Coal. In the 1990s, there were two significant improvements to shuttle cars. Computer stress analysis became available and our chassis were analyzed and significantly improved. That's transitions, and the same as the buggy. You know, they went from steering to stick steering. Now they love it. Now forget about them old cars. Secondly, we came out with four-wheel independent suspension. These two improvements improved the life of the chassis, pretty much doubling it and increased the uh, pr production of the mine because operators could travel faster with the suspension. So I know, you know, the innovations came and they, they were used and they are better for, for sure. The most significant improvement to shuttle cars in my nearly 40 year career has been the development of the AC variable frequency drive. This drive provides infinitely variable speed control which keeps the operator from bumping into the miner. When I first started riding the shuttle car, our miner operator he didn't like you hit in the back end of the miner. So if you bumped into him, he'd come back and smack you upside the head. So you learn very soon not to hit the back of the miner. Through all, the model's innovation never stopped. The 10SC42 represents the next evolutionary step in technology, safety, and operator comfort. With the Tennessee 42, we've continued to focus on safety. One of the standard features is now an in-by and out-by facing camera so an operator can see objects in front of them when they're traveling in the forward and rear direction. Shuttle cars have continued to be the workhorse in the underground mining industry. In a world where data is more and more important, we continue to make smarter and smarter products. On the shuttle car, we're focusing on low data to help mines improve their production and provide more data to the surface to let mine managers make more educated decisions. Yeah, they've done a lot for mining. They've saved a lot of people's lives, actually, I'd say. Joy was innovators, you know? They're innovators.